In this lecture, I'm going to talk a bit about electric field. So let's first talk about forces. Usually forces happen when contact occurs. Let's say you kick a soccer ball. There must have been some point, even it was, it was only for a second, when your foot contacted the soccer ball to exert the force. This contact makes the force called a contact force. Physicists tend to like contact forces because they make a lot of sense. Your foot transferred energy to the ball through a force. This force happened while the two were in contact. But electric forces seem to be different. I mean, this positive charge here is exerting a force on this negative charge, but they're definitely not touching each other. This seems funny. What's happening? So. Physicists weren't too fond of that, so they decided to come up with a concept called electric field. Any charge in isolation creates an electric field. Let's say we've got a negative charge here. We know that any point in space around it, if you put a charge there, the charge will experience some kind of force. If we have a little tiny positive charge here, let's say it's a test charge, it'll feel a force going towards the negative charge. We have a force down here. On another test charge, it'll look like this. Got a lot of little positive test charges, and you begin to see kind of a shape emerging. Lots of arrows pointing toward our negative charge. This is the idea behind an electrical field. All these arrows are used to represent the electric field which is a measure of the force. Let's say electric field is a measure of force on a charge. Electric field is a vector and it has direction. The vector is always pointing in the direction that a positive charge would travel. Formally, those little arrows are called electric field lines. We always draw them in the direction that a positive test charge would travel. Since positive charges are attracted to negative charges, our arrows always point toward negative charges. They look like this. Here we are. You might notice that the lines seem to be farther apart, farther away from the charge. This is important. This means that the electric field is weaker, farther away from the charge. This makes sense, because we know that the force exerted by a charge is equal to KQQ over the distance between the charges squared. This means that the electrical field is also proportional to the distance between the charge and any point in space squared. The electric field strength is just a measure of how much force occurs at a particular point in space. Let's think about the electric field around a positive charge. Since positive charges are repelled by other positive charges, the electric field lines must point outward, like this, because that's the direction a positive charge would travel if it were near this positive charge. These are just two examples of many possible examples. These examples here just involve a single charge. In the next lecture, we'll talk about what an electric field looks like when you have many charges. Hope to see you there.